Welcome to another episode of Pleasant Kenobi's Art Appreciation. I am going to be doing some art here in the likeness of an influence, Bob Ross. Um, thank God for Bob Ross. In England, we only had two sort of equivalents. We had we had Neil Buchanan of Art Attack, I guess, when I was younger. Uh, not quite the same period, perhaps 20 years up to Bob Ross. So perhaps he, perhaps he was influenced by Bob Ross. Um, and then we also had Rolf Harris, who turned out to be, well, let's not talk about that. It's not good. So uh, today I'm going to be painting and talking for a little while, uh, about 10 minutes or so. Uh, those who watched the stream on Monday already have seen this gimmick of me sticking my face inside Bob Ross. I'll, I'll change it up a little bit next week or the week after a different different shiz. Art appreciation, this is the third episode. If you want to see some more of this style of content, I'll leave some links in the description below or in the cards to other copies or other versions of art appreciation. Uh, so today I'm going to be painting a, uh, I'll say Pokemon card then for some bizarre reason, a magic card. And you need to guess what it is. Now at any point you want to guess, feel free to pause the video and comment down below using the comment box. Try not to scroll too far though, because if you scroll too far, you see other people's comments and you might get either swayed or, uh, I guess, spoiled. I mean, endgame spoilers is one thing, but Peasant Kenobi's Art Appreciation Episode 3 spoilers? Woo! You don't, you don't, want, you don't want that spoiled. Um, there's got to be an easy way for me to make these. I'm actually rendering it twice. Once with my face in and once with the green screen block so I can actually put the crop video of the art in. I really need to learn how to use Premiere. Um, so the card I'm I'm painting, um, do you want a clue? Do you want a clue? I really like it. You might have said no, you didn't want a clue actually, but now I've given you a clue. That's my clue. I really like this card. My beard's a bit wonky today. I'm going to use this dismembered hand to fix it. Fuck, stop it. Fuck off. Jesus Christ. So here you can see me using the full range of colour palettes. Now normally on these videos I will use paint. Because it's easy. But I thought, look, I own all these other weird programs that I've bought to try and improve the quality of stuff on the channel. Like, like Photoshop and the whole Adobe suite. Including Premiere and After Effects and Lightroom and all that shit. And I use this for my thumbnails a little bit. I use this and then obviously, uh, well I say obviously. I use Movie Studio actually to move around like um, heavy assets like writing and text and stuff. But on the whole, to merge like images, like the... The thumbnail for some art that I put out. The thumbnail for the Throne of Eldraine stuff that I put out on um, Wednesday. I used f f Photoshop for that. So I know how to do Photoshop a little bit, but I'm learning. Here you can see I'm trying to render an egg. Just fucking it up. So for the first like few minutes, this is sped up by the way. For the first few minutes, I kind of don't really know what I'm doing. I'm learning the hotkeys. I'm learning... Uh, other bits and bobs. So hopefully if I do more of these over the coming months, you might see my abilities, my, my Photoshop abilities, become stronger. And before so before long, if you knock me down, greater than you'll ever imagine, I am the master of the evil Darth. The Star Wars, that was. So, um, maybe we should change the music up. Should we go for some jazz? Jazz! Yeah, that's right. You want some jazz? I got you, fam. I got you. So here I'm learning to do smudgy stuff. Um, there you go. I'm going to do some color blending now. I'm blending the, the lights and the darks and the stuff and things. The wibbly wobbly colory stuff. Um, the artist who did this piece is one of my favorite magic artists. Oh, maybe that's a clue. Okay. Um... If there's a magic artist you want me, Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi, on the on the internet to uh, do in future in an art appreciation video, comment down below saying which artist you'd like me to do. Um, don't say which card, because that kind of... If I did the card you requested, I'm kind of killing off the whole point of being able to guess, I, I think. Eh, I don't know. Um, for those of you who don't know, I guess it's a good time to tell you all, I'm going to the... I'm going to the pre 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 release with loading ready run. I'm flying over to Canada in about about two weeks time. 
Yep, so I'm travelling again, so if I make posts in my content too erratic, I apologise, because it probably will be slightly erratic. I'm going to try and do some work on the road for the first time properly ever, because I always take my laptop and my camera and stuff when I travel, and well, I just don't do it. But at GPs and like meeting, when I hang out with friends and fans and, and stuff, things get out of the way, and although, although the pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-release will obviously be intensive in terms of like what I'm up to, I won't be working while I'm doing that. Uh, I'm going down to see Brian to film some more dice to removal afterwards, so I shouldn't really twist my hair because that'll really fuck up the shot. But so yeah, I'll be seeing Brian. I'll hopefully stream a little bit in the, the American time zone from Portland. And we'll be filming more dice to removal. So yeah, I'll be on the pre 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 pre, -pre release with Loading Ready Run, which is a dream come true. Like I've been watching Loading Ready Run content for like ten years since they were on the escapist alongside Yahtzee and Jim Sterling and Movie Bob. Um yeah, so it's, and I've been following them since, I'm not like a diehard fan, like I don't own any Loading Ready Run merch, though I kind of do want to own some now. But um, yeah, I, I've, I've never, I'm not a diehard, diehard fan, but I've always watched their content, like Friday nights, um, streams on, on occasion as well, some of the pre-pre-releases. Uh, to get the content that like, people like, like Magic Man Sam and Wedge and stuff I've been on is, is, is crazy, to be on a pre-pre-release. So, as some of my local players in my local play group said, I guess I'm in the big leagues now, is what they said. I mean, I would have thought being on a podcast with uh, <laughs> the world's largest Magic the Gathering YouTuber might have, um, might have counted as making it. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird thing to talk about making it. So here you can see the art kind of looks like an egg letting out a real dank fart as it streaks across the sky. If you know what it is, guess down below. Comment down below. Guess what it is. Don't fucking... Don't ruin it, though. Don't, like, go on social media and be like, everybody... Spoilers for Art Appreciation Episode 3 of Pleasant Kenobi, also known as Vince, in the real world. Don't go spoiling it. I had a friend who, um, I say a friend, I said, no, he's a friend. He's one of my best friends. Big Carl, probably not watching this, you don't really watch a lot of my magic stuff, but you are a dickhead. You really are. I love you, but you are a dickhead. He spoiled the death of Jon Snow in Game of Thrones. Um, I hope that's not a spoiler for somebody. If anyone watched this hasn't seen Game of Thrones yet and didn't know Jon Snow dies, I'm sorry. The show is kind of over now, though, right? Like, we're allowed to talk a little bit about it in these sort of things, but I guess that was out of nowhere. So, yeah, spoiler warning for Game of Thrones retroactively. Shit. Anyway, he, uh, the day it happened, he just put it on Facebook. And he thought it was funny. I didn't think it was funny. I thought it was lame that he did that. Um, he's since changed his opinion on spoilers. Uh, he realises that actually, like, the net disappointment and unhappiness he's getting there out, uh, compared to, like, him being a troll isn't a good thing. So yeah, spoilers suck, and he's realised that. He's grown as a person. We can all grow as people. We can all make mistakes, right? And sometimes you still love your friends, even if they are assholes, which you can be, Big K. You can be an asshole. A Big K is also in my uh, 200 Chicken Nugget Challenge. Myself, Big K, Big Dean, and, and Big Fidge. We all try and eat 50 Chicken Nuggets. They all succeed. I fail, because I start to feel a bit sick. Once you dip, like, 47 Chicken McNuggets from McDonald's into, like, sweet chilli sauce, and then try to eat it, um, yeah, it gets sickly. It gets sickly. It wasn't even the quantity of food. Like, I ate, like a, like a muck flurry after that. I chopped that down. I just realised this rears my back in, sitting here like this. I'm going to do an adjustment. Adjustment! Adjustment! Oh, that's better. I'm sat back a bit now. I'm going to zoom, obviously, the shot in to, to make sure that it still fits, uh, fits the hole. Which is something that I always try and do. I always make sure I fit the hole, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. If you've got the art so far, I mean, at this point, if you know the card, you've probably got the art. Um, it is from a recent set, so if you're a bit out of, out of touch, you haven't drafted... Oh, 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 oh. If you haven't drafted the new sets, then yes, you may not know what this is. Um, it's made some splashes in modern. Uh, it was in a video that I put out on Friday. Mr. Nassif has been playing this. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool deck. It's a pretty cool deck. Uh, Mr. Floating Egg Head Man. The original art doesn't really look like he's got an egg for a head, but I have failed to capture that dr rather dramatically with my rather piss poor interpretation. Here I go about making the trees again. I made the trees too early because the trees are in the foreground, so I should finish the rest of the art before doing so. Um, I think these might be the, my, 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 my favourite part of the whole piece. Uh, not the original... Not the original art. Um, the favourite of my version of the art. I guess we got to that point now. We're getting to the 10 minute mark. We're at 9.59, 9.50... 10 minutes! There we go, there we go. This is Seb McKinnon. 
art. I still won't say the card name if you're still struggling. Uh, it's my favourite art from that set. It's one of my favourite pieces by Seb McKinnon, in all honesty. It's just so... There's such a feeling of dread and foreboding sort of fear about the whole thing. Like, the creature itself is rather abstract and kind of... Kind of, um... What's the word? Unsettling in its composition. Like, it's got its limbs and fingers and everything. Oh, not Uncanny Valley, but they're kind of familiar, but not. And then there's obviously the people running from it in the foreground. And the sense of scale all makes it kind of... Makes it click to be a quite a dark piece, considering actually it's a blue-white creature. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like... A, here's me using the blur tool again. What I found is even when you're drawing stick figures, which is definitely what I just did there... Uh, if you blur it with the blur tool, it looks uh, at least 20% better. Oh, there you go. The egg is now becoming more of a sun thing. I think that's not that bad. Now, it's not as good as my previous ones, like Jesse and Thief or, or Bob. That'll be in the description that you can go and watch. But those ones, like... Dark Confident on Jesse and Thief, I was doing on paint. Which is like, you know, that's my... That's my ballpark, my wheelhouse, my environment, you know? I'm a king. There we go. There, let's see the art. The art compared to the original. There we have it. Well, well, you'll have it once I stop. No one saw that. Ah, uh, once I, uh, no one saw me itch my nose. I'm not talking about. I'm doing anything exciting. Don't go rewinding the video. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go. There's Seb McKinnon's Soul Herder next to Pleasant Kenobi's Soul Herder. I think I captured the essence of it. I think, like. The fear of the unknown and the sense of scale is there. I better sign it, actually, you know, in case people want to see the shit later down the line. Boom! Guess I should draw a logo, too. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Modo crashed while I was doing this. Played some Neoform this morning. Lost or not. Thanks for watching. I've been Vince, also known as Peasant Kenobi, on the internet. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next. Tell me if you like this or not and other videos, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Ta-ta!